Good morning, folks. I am Dr. Atar Rahman Khan, consultant in internal medicine. Today, I am going to discuss about domestic violence. Domestic violence is an abuse or violence in intimate relationship. It is occurring in a lot of places across the world. A lot of family families are victim of domestic violence that leads to lot of problem, family problem, social problem, even national problem. A nation cannot be happy if a family is not happy. Family's dispute can be resolved peacefully, not by violence. There are lot of, uh, many types of violence that can be defined in the violence and abuse. Uh, the number one is physical violence. Physical violence occurs when someone uses a part of the body of an object to control the person or action. Sexual violence occurs when a person is forcefully forced to do the sexual act. Number three, emotional violence. Emotional violence occurs when someone says or something to make the person feel stupid or worthless, to put him, put, to put him or her down. Number four, psychological violence. Psychological violence occurs when someone uses threat and causes fear in individual to gain control of the situation. Number five, spiritual violence. Spiritual or religious violence occurs when someone uses the religious belief or religious uh, ritual or taboos to manipulate the person, to dominate or control the person. Number six, cultural violence. Cultural violence occurs when an individual is harmed as a result of practice that part of his or her culture or tradition. Number seven, verbal abuse, which is extremely common, not in the domestic uh, violence, but it is also, it can also occur anywhere in the world at any moment. And it is the most common, common things in the world to have verbal abuse. Verbal abuse occurs when someone uses the language, whether spoken or written, to cause harm to an individual, to harass the person, to hurt his or her feelings. Number eight, financial abuse. Financial abuse occurs when someone controls an individual resources, deprive the person of her or his right of using the finance of the family. Number nine, neglect. Neglect occurs when someone has the responsibility to provide care, provide food, water, shelter, education, and love. But these are not fulfilled, and that is a neglect. Children live in, an, in, a, in, in, an, in a household of violence, suffers from a lot of psychological problem, acquired learning disability, lack of attention, depression, anxiety disorder or a lot of and a lot of psychological uh, psychiatric problem can occur to a child who who was who was living in a uh, violent environment the child may have a lot of vicarious trauma traumatization that means the child can fall into an imag imagination of world that, that he or she saw a lot of violence and abuse in his or her family. Then the child cannot focus on a work. The child cannot focus on a homework, focus on a class. The child cannot be friend of others. This is a lot of uh, suffering for a child and family, society, 
and nation as a whole. Some other type of um, abuse is sexual mutilation, sexual organ mutilation, which is fairly common in Africa. And the immigrants in the Europe, even USA, and some part of Asia also, like uh, Thailand, Afghanistan, Saudi Arabia, and other countries. This is very sad that sexual mutilation is done very, very bad, very bad. Mutilation means cutting off an organ permanently so that the person that the person is deprived of that organ. Force mutilation of clitoris of a woman, force mutilation, force circumcision of a boy. The mutilation is a very bad thing which occurs in 29 countries in the world even though it is reduced in number now as far as UNICEF. This kind of, any kind of violence is bad. Mostly violence is taking place by a man to a woman and to children and to a, a poor person, to a laborer. But on the other hand, a female also can abuse a male, but mostly male abuse a female. We have to be very strong mentally and we have to get ourselves prepared to fight off this kind of violence and we should uh, control our anger, control our temptation, control our emotion so that violence doesn't take place. If there is a violence, occurs in front of us, as a good human being, we should protect the victim. We should counsel the victim, we should counsel the attacker. And we have to have a good kind of meeting with the family members if we are the neighbors of that person. I hope this short video will give you some kind of knowledge regarding domestic violence. It's a big chapter. I can talk about this for hours and hours. But for now, let's stop it here. And please subscribe the channel Dr. Atar Rahman Khan, YouTube.com. Thank you for watching.